tell me a little bit about this vernal equinox, Paul. Yeah, a lot of people kind of don't really understand what exactly this means. So we're going to give you a, a really cool explanation for this. Now, the, it starts with the fact that, and you know this, the Earth does not point straight up and down. It, it's tilted. We're tilted exactly 23 and a half degrees. So this is the position of the Earth when it's at this point in the uh, orbit around the sun where our part of the Earth, the northern hemisphere, is tilted away from the sun. That's the middle of winter. Now, what's going to happen this weekend, the sun is basically going to be shining sideways on the Earth. The northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, neither of them tilted toward or away from the sun. So what that means is, and there's an exact time for this, at 1133 Sunday morning, it's an exact time, that's called the vernal equinox. At that moment, the sun's rays are going to be directly over the equator. And so as the Earth then progresses around the sun, those sun's rays are going to start getting higher and higher in the northern hemisphere. And you know, you see it in the middle of the summer, the sun's almost overhead midday, whereas in the winter, the sun's rays, the sun's like maybe about like that in the sky. So that's what's happening at 1133 Sunday morning. That's the moment that the sun's rays will be directly over the equator. And you know what? With blue sky developing on Sunday, we're going to feel like spring. Look at that, 55 degrees with sunshine Sunday afternoon. That's going to be a really, really nice start to the official astronomical start of spring. So there you go. I was not great in science growing up, but you, the reason I love that, no tests. <laughs> you don't know. He'll give you what? a pop. I had tests in science as a kid. Yeah. No, I mean, there's no test for me after oh, what after I just this? watched. Oh, yeah. Give him a pop quiz later. Yeah. <laughs> we can Thanks. do that. And I appreciate No, no, I appreciate you. Thank you, Paul. Oh, More to come. Sure.